You know, I really didn't want to make this video per se. Um, lately, I know I've been posting more videos about me just ranting about things that I that you know I just felt like talking about, like the I don't get I, I don't get the hate for Mark Hamill. I I I I do now. Yada yada type of videos, and that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I will rant about the things that I want to talk about that I find kind of important to talk about. And I found this one to be one of those one of those things where I was like, you know what? I've been debating whether to talk about it or not, and I've seen some uh, shady ass takes on it, and I just wanted to like throw my two burritos in the mix, you know, just here, choke on them. And it's this Pedro Pascal situation. So just to give you context, if you didn't know, uh, Pedro Pascal is receiving kind of flack and praise for this moment he had at at um at Comic-Con where he like touches uh this girl's back to like signal her like hey you know I'm going through something and then she just like holds his hand and a lot of people have called that like uh very very weak especially like <laughs> especially on the uh, on on the youtube channels that tend to call everything woke and be so like very incendiary and inflammatory and that get offended by by everything <laughs> they're like um they're calling pedro pascal uh a weak and like oh this is this is not how a real man should act. This is this is stupid. He's a fucking loser. And and shit like that. And I, I've also heard people that calling him a creep. Like, hey, you know, like he touched her back and she was like clearly uncomfortable and then just like held his hand to just kinda like, hey, you know, keep keep it keep it down type of thing. And the reality of the situation, based on my research, is that Pedro Pascal deals with anxiety and uh, you can see it like he's very open about how he gets anxiety and and that was kind of his signal to tell this girl that he has a very close relationship with like a hey, I'm, I'm I'm going through through uh, an attack right now please hold my hand that, that that's gonna help me and one of the things that I've heard um, from from different people is that Dude, just fucking suck it up, you know? You are a A-list actor uh, in, in a stage. Just fucking, like, come on. Like, you know, just uh, just suck it up, buttercup, you know? Chin up, chin up, chin up. And um, and just face the world. Don't, don't, don't be a bitch. And <laughs> it's surprising <laughs> to, to, to see those kind of takes on this type of situation because... I've been open about some of my anxieties as well in the past. I've done videos and I've tried to do segments because it has helped me deal with anxiety. One of the reasons why I left YouTube for a couple of years was because the the audience was insufferable and I wasn't like emotionally ready to deal with it. And having like so many people like bombard you and call you call you names and shit like that, it's just like whether you want to or not, it does affect your brain. And and I was like, oh, you know what? Can't I can't deal with this? And people could call me coward. People could call me a bitch and everything. And honestly, I wouldn't give a flying fuck at at this stage of my life where I've dealt with it. But back in the day, I uh, I was suffering from it, you know. So I I see what's happening with Pedro Pascal that he was going through through a moment and I'm like dude yeah like if if you're going through something go for it and I'm going to tell you this specifically to to that tweet I don't remember who said it I don't remember who said it um but yeah it was like hey you're an A-list actor and suck it up like stop being a bitch type of type of thing and I read that and I was like what are you a fucking idiot um i don't remember who it was but uh i know it was from like the youtube sphere that's that's all i remember um don't pay attention to twitter much any days uh, anyways but um 
But just because you're an A-list actor doesn't mean that you're not a fucking human, you know? And these people need to get a little bit of empathy when it comes to this. Like, yes, Pedro Pascal may not share with, like, some of you political views, but that doesn't mean that he's still not a human, you know? Like, I'm talking about this specific episode because I've been in that position where where I've had some triggers and I'm like, you know what? Like, for example, I'm going to tell you something very personal. Many of you know that I'm an editor. I edit movies for a living. But one of the most stressful moments for me that makes me just like cringe and almost want to puke is whenever I have to sit at the movie theater to watch my movie. Like whenever we have movie premieres, and they send me to, to watch the movie and I'm there with other people and I can see people watching what I've edited. It gives, gives me a huge amount, amount of, of anxiety. I hate it. I absolutely despise it. And people can say like, dude, you edited it. You've seen it plenty of times. What the fuck's the problem? You know, stop being a bitch. It's just something in me. And you can call me whatever name you want, but that's something that does happen to me. Um, and I know that I'm not the only one. For example, Adam Driver, the guy that plays Kylo Ren, he's said plenty of times that he hates watching himself play in the in the movie. Like he he doesn't watch the movies that he's in because he gets anxiety too, and the, the, all this like bottled up emotions. Dude, I I I know I I'm with you on that one. I hate when people. When I when I can see people watch my work, I hate it. Like, I absolutely fucking hate it. Like, it really makes me super nervous and makes me just kind of, like, want to leave the room. And I need, like, my way of, like, calming down from that is usually just, like, um, eating candy or, like, ice cream and just, like, being away from a minute. And, 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 and that's, you know, that, that kind of helps me. And I can see this happening to Pedro Pascal. Again, I'm not talking about the political views of the guy. Because I know that he's a Democrat and a lot of people just fucking hate Democrats. Um, just because, you know, that's the buzzword to hate. The same with Democrats that just hate Republicans. And it's just this immature fight of like, my side is better than your side and shit like that. Instead of like looking at things objectively. Uh, for the most part, and realizing, like, oh, you know what, you have some rights, I have some wrongs, and vice versa. Fuck that shit. But, um, but yeah, you might not agree with the with uh, with the politics of Pedro Pascal because he he has also been open about um, some of his shit, and like for example, the Gina Carano situation when he posted something like putting MAGA people as uh, as Nazis and shit. Th that is stupid like he, he like that's an l on him that's a shit take on him but i'm not talking about i'm not making a video about his politics i'm making a video about the discourse about men's men mental hey uh, health because uh one thing that i do like praise pedro pascal for is the fact that he's open about his um his 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 mental health and i think that that's something that uh, more people should be like really wanting to do because uh, for years I've bottled up a lot of my emotions because that's the main thing to do and one day I just broke down to my mom and 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 and, and since then my mental and emotional stability has improved like I've I've gone to therapy from time to time I've been more open about needing help or like, hey, you know what? I can't do this instead of following the typical like, oh, just be a fucking man. <clears throat> you know, it's it's interesting that a lot of these people, a, a lot of these men that first off call themselves alphas, which is like the most insecure bitch ass thing you can do. If you are a guy that calls himself an alpha, just know that I laugh at you. <laughs> Because no man that is secure about himself and his masculinity would ever have the need to call himself an alpha. It's just idiotic. <laughs> it shows a huge lack of insecurity and overcompensation of ego. But anyways, what I'm saying is that 
this men or sometimes even women that call this behavior of uh, of mental health need like Pedro Pascal in this case like oh no just stop being a bitch are the first ones to like punch through punch through drywall because you know the Kansas Chiefs or whatever football team is uh, lost the lost the game and then they're like oh come here wife and just like beat on them or whatever so it's um you know let's let's what i'm trying to say is that let's not forget that we are people we are humans with emotions and sometimes those emotions tend to be a little bit complex and not just because you have a platform you know like like a lot of people that you can be seen by so many different like people and thousands and hundreds of thousands and stuff that doesn't mean or invalidate the fact that you're still a human so for anyone that is trashing pedro pascal for this like again you can trash him for for his politics and everything but i'm just talking specifically about this if you trash him and other men in this case for being open about their mental health and their need sometimes to like you know um the their 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 need to get help sometimes that's what that's what i'm trying to say um i personally feel that is very stupid and 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 incredibly damaging to society i think no one that is truly happy will ever be you know just incendiary and inflammatory for no reason and here you know when i saw this like i i don't see eye to eye with the politics or of petro pascal or some of his or some of the things that he said and done i really don't see eye to eye but in this particular case i really related because i've been through that and that's why i was like you know what i am going to make a video about this so yes that's that's all i have to say if if you again if you're a person man or female um that trashes this particular type of behavior when you see a, a guy showing vulnerability and needing help especially for mental health if you are one of those people that insults that and they think that oh stop being a bitch just like men up without like really having any sort of empathy when it when when it's a clear case like this um just just know that you're just a pathetic human being and you need to like do a little bit of soul searching to develop a little bit more awareness and empathy towards towards people instead of being just clouded by the hate of the of your own little inner cir circle that has its own agenda as well because at the end of the day like every time you fall into one of these circles like oh you're left wing right wing um everything's woke nothing is woke blah, 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 blah. whenever you fall into one of those circles eventually um you might you might fall into that um into that agenda right and supposedly you are against the agenda and everything but it's all sites at the end of the day so anyways thank you for listening to my rant if you like more rants like this uh and more perspectives of mine on on topics like this let me know in the comments because i do like i'm still gonna <laughs> i'm still gonna record uh the videos if i feel like i want to talk about a specific topic but if you do enjoy the perspective that i'm bringing to these cases please let me know uh, because, you know, uh, I want to see, like, what people have to say, uh, whether they agree or disagree with me. But always keep it cordial. Don't be, don't be an asshole about it, you know. So that's it. See ya.